He could tell a riveting story at the drop of a hat. So suddenly there we would be in the middle of the rainy Pacific Northwest in a summer afternoon, and a story would come, and we would be back in Oklahoma actually tasting that dust. Mom would pour a glass of milk, and before long it would look like chocolate milk with all the dirt that had settled on it. You had to try and drink it fast. We put the dinner plates on the table upside down, and when we were ready to dish the food up, we'd turn the plates over, and there was a ring around the clean space where the plates had been. It was like smoke. It could get in anywhere. I used to try and keep things clean. I had a part of the house that I would try and keep clean. The other kids made fun of me for it. I used to wash my socks every night. They thought that was hilarious. <laughs> He could sometimes start talking in the morning as soon as anybody else was up to listen to him. And then one day, the story changed. As dusk got worse, every Saturday when we went to town, we'd pass a funeral and an auction. And he burst into tears. Well, maybe sickness and despair are acts of God, too. I don't know, but Dad stopped talking then for a while, a few hours. He was remembering the testimonia that took so many people's lives, children mostly, old people. And once in a while, it would take a farmer who just hadn't given up. So he was still farming his land while his land was blowing away. And the widow would have no choice but to sell off everything she could and pack up a few belongings and all the kids and just hit the road. And Dad would talk about rain. He talked about the lack of rain and the hope of rain. When my stepdaughter was a teenager, she had this assignment for school that I thought was absolutely brilliant. She had to interview an old person about their life. So she chose my dad, and she asked him about his days in Oklahoma, and he talked about it in a different way to her than he ever had to anybody else. And he said this. Well, I was actually born in Michigan in 1923, where my father worked for the Ford Motor Company. He was let go in a mass layoff five years later, and we moved to Oklahoma, where his father lived. There was no rain to speak of for the next seven years where we lived, so I had to describe it to the other kids. One kid said, is it like being stuck under an open faucet? Wouldn't you drown? And I said, no, it's, it's more like a big colander way up in the air. By the time Dad told that story, I had been a singer-songwriter and a folk singer for a long time. It's really not the most sensible thing to be. But it's, it's what I was, and it's what I still am, and it's what I do, and Dad always listened, even though he had a hard time listening to some things, but he always listened to these, to my songs, so I thought, when he started talking about his childhood, that it was about time to put some of those stories into song form. And besides, I'd had an assignment to do that. I had the assignment from the great Utah Phillips, storyteller and songwriter and rabble rouser, troublemaker, extraordinaire. I told him some of the stories, and he said, you realize that you have to write about that, don't you? Or I will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. I have a song I want to play for you. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> One morning my mother said, take the blankets and sheets from the bed. Just before we cover the doors, soak them all down good and wet. Cover the windows too So the worst of the dust won't get through They'll dry hard and black Be washed and put back But there isn't much more we can do 
And it wasn't the same in Michigan Though we left there when I was just five I tell all the kids of four, five, and six Of what they've never seen in their lives The rain Millions of drops coming down Sings you to sleep, it keeps all the dirt on the ground. <coughs> Every week, someone else gone. Every week, we pass a farm. All their possessions, all out for auction on what had once been the lawn. And the dust can ride on a sunbeam Piggybacks on every breeze It's lighter than thought But it crushes the crops It fills the air that we breathe Maybe I'll tell my grandkids Someday if I get old how all the kids' eyes opened up real wide At the tall tales I told about rain Stand under it as it comes down With your head tilted up your eyes squinted shut, tasting the drops on your tongue. I, I just wanted to let you know that I was listening. Sure were. <laughs>